Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be the goddess. Praise be the goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday, and today we have for you the subject of Virgin Mother's Day. Happy Virgin Mother's Day, everybody. It's the official start of the holiday season for goddess worshipers. That's the key, goddess worshipers. And what is Virgin Mother's Day and when is it and how do we celebrate it? Well, Virgin Mother's Day is December 8th, so it's coming right up. It's the next, it's within two days, Virgin Mother's Day. And uh, we celebrate it by meditating on the Virgin Mother. And it's the official star of the holiday season, so go ahead and bring out your, roll out that cookie dough and cut out shapes with your cookie cutters and make some cookies with your family because it's the holiday season and we just love baking cookies during the holiday season. So what is Virgin Mother's Day? Well, it celebrates the Virgin Mother who is the goddess. Goddess is the original Virgin Mother because she was not impregnated by any man by any man god or by any male god. She is the original virgin mother. And she's our mother. She's the mother of us all. So she's a virgin mother and goddess is happy with her, with her uh, designation as a virgin mother. We celebrate the virgin mother at this season to remind us of the maiden and the mother during the time of the crone. This is the official start of the celebration of the crone. But during the celebration of the crone, we still remember the maiden and the mother during the celebration of the crone because she's all three at the same time. All three at the same time, maiden, mother, and crone. All three at the same time. So how do we celebrate this holiday? Well, we like we said, we... It's the official star of the holiday season, so send out those those uh, matronacht cards to your friends and relatives, or modronicht cards to your friends and relatives. Make out a modronicht card and send it to a friend or a relative and celebrate the holiday season. And so... Why, why is it that we that we seem to be celebrating a virgin mother when there's another church that celebrates virgin mothers and seems to focus on a virgin mother quite a lot? Well, we're talking about the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church also has a virgin mother, but she's a human. She's not a goddess. And they don't worship her. So she's not divine. They don't worship her. They thought about worshiping her a little while ago. A while back they were, <clears throat> like a few years ago, they were <clears throat> debating whether the Virgin Mother was divine and whether they should worship her. And they decided not. They decided, no, she's not divine. We're not going to worship her. She's a human mother and we're not going to worship her. But they have their own virgin mother. They have their own version of a virgin mother in the Mother Mary. So what, what, do, what do we goddess worshipers think of Mother Mary? Well, I can tell you right now that, that for me personally, while I'm very flattered and honored that they have a virgin mother, I don't approve of worshiping a human any more than the Catholic Church does. So I don't honor the Mother Mary. She's not our virgin mother. Our virgin mother is goddess. So we don't worship Mother Mary. Us goddess worshipers don't worship Mother Mary. We certainly acknowledge her that she's a virgin mother, but she's not... She's not the goddess, and she's not uh, there. As far as we know, she's not a virgin mother. 
they were told she's a virgin mother, but that's just what we've been told. That doesn't mean she really is a virgin mother. It's just a fairy tale. So we regard the virgin, obviously there had to be a mother Mary, there had, Jesus had to have a mother. But we regard the, the tale of the virgin mother as a fairy tale, okay? So she's, the mother Mary is not a virgin mother. And we regard her as not goddess. So we don't honor Mother Mary as an aspect of goddess or just another aspect of goddess. So we don't worship the Mother Mary. And uh, she's really not a part of our religion, not a part of us, not a part of our religion. And so, so while we're very honored and flattered, now are we trying to imitate the Catholic Church? Are we trying to imitate her? No. Because virgin motherhood came before the Catholic Church, as I note in one of my videos, the video Christianity is a Lie. I'm sure you've all seen this video, Christianity is a Lie. Well, in that video, I note that, that um, virgin motherhood was an aspect of goddess long before the Catholic Church did highway robbery and decided to that their mother of of Jesus or mother of God would be a virgin mother as well. So it 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 predates the Catholic Church and since they don't regard virgin motherhood as a goddess, what's the point? Why do we have to know that she's a virgin mother if she's just a human and not a goddess to that we can worship? So here's what we object to with the Catholic Church. They have a virgin mother, but she's not a goddess. She's a human being. And two, they don't worship her. So what, what's the point? Why do they even have a virgin mother? Well, it's to elevate Jesus. If he comes from a virgin mother, if his parentage is of a virgin mother, then that makes him elevated. That makes him better than the average mortal. But the, this attempt failed because they didn't worship the Virgin Mother. If they had worshipped the Virgin Mother, maybe we would have acknowledged her, Mother Mary, as being an aspect of Goddess. But they did not. They did not uh, worship her and they did not acknowledge her as a Goddess. So because they did not acknowledge her as Goddess, we can't... We can't worship her and we can't acknowledge her as being a real virgin mother. So they stole this. The Catholic Church stole this and to no good effect. So what were what were the what was the Catholic Church thinking? Well, the people who wrote those stories were kind of silly and they were fanatics for Jesus and they wrote down some fairy tale that some that some simple minded people made up some simple minded people were telling tales of Jesus and they elaborated and they made it better and bigger by adding to the tale and when they added to the tale somebody heard that tale and picked it up and wrote it down and that's how that's how the Catholic Church got a virgin mother that was just a human and ordinary mortal and not divine at all. So we worship the virgin mother and we worship her as goddess because the vir virgin mother, goddess did not need to be fertilized by any man, by any man god or by any male god. She didn't need to be fertilized. She was self-fertile. That's a very important point to make. The goddess is self-fertile. So she's a true virgin mother. Unlike the mother Mary who was impregnated by a male god, our virgin mother is really a virgin. She's a real virgin. And uh, she's, she's our virgin mother and we worship her as the virgin mother and we honor her virginity and her motherhood so we we love goddess we love her 
and we worship her and well, don't let anyone tell you otherwise that we, we that whether we, you should worship uh, any deity at all. If you worship any deity at all, it should be goddess because goddess is exciting and new and fresh and goddess is wonderful. We love goddess. She's always ever fresh, ever new, ever fresh, ever new. That's part of her maiden aspect is that she's always new and she's always fresh. And so, but she's invented everything that is. So everything that is, is what's not new and fresh. But goddess is always new and fresh. So that's that. That's the story of goddess and how, how she uh, brought about the, the designation of virgin mother and how we've forgotten her, and how we should worship her again. I'm Sarah Jane Alpha Wolf signing off. Have a terrific week, folks. Remember, December 8th is Virgin Mother's Day.